For San Diego, this was one of two public appearances insofar as the Prince of Wales was concerned. And though the weather was not what San Diego normally expects, the spirits were high. Have you been able to maintain your tan pretty well? It depends on you. I, I can't see it. <laughs> the Prince was one of three officers accompanying the Jupiter Skipper. All were welcomed by Roar officials Keith Tantlinger and Jerry Feliciato. First stop on the tour was Roar's People Mover, an elevated monorail which the company calls Mono Cab. The demonstration included two shuttle rides for the VIP guests, accompanied by Roar officials. Despite the weather, nearby company employees were anxious to get a glimpse of royalty, even in misting rain. Then it was on to the company's aerotrain project, with program manager Tom Tuttle extending an invitation to the Prince. This is Tom Tuttle. <laughs> Those are actually the ski marks. Prince Charles seemed genuinely interested in the aero train, which has a power conditioning unit made in Stafford, England. Tuttle says he asked several questions. If you'd like to go inside the vehicle, we can take a look. <clears throat> I might warn you, this pavement's pretty slippery. Yes, the Aurora visit for the men of the Jupiter and, of course, the Prince of Wales stopped here at this tracked air cushion vehicle. And I'm told that this is the seat that the Prince checked out. And so, for TV8 Action News, Jim Gordon sitting in a royal seat in Chula Vista.